All right, everybody. So today I'm in Crestwood. And where specifically in Crestwood? Well, I'm where the Crestwood Wall used to be. That's right. It's, it's a fascinating real estate story about a mall that was massive and everyone went there and I went there as a kid. And then slowly it started to turn into like not the place to go. There were other malls to go. And then I can remember like older people started walking the mall and not really shopping at the mall. And so you had a lot of people just kind of congregating about. And it was a massive, massive tax boom for the city of Crestwood. Well, there's all these little cities. There's 98 different municipalities in St. Louis County alone. But, you know, they spent decades trying to get something of scale back. And they finally, there's a, there's a Deerberg's. And there's, it's kind of half retail, half housing. And I don't know. I mean, they really took a hit. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk to you today. It's raining. We're getting the remnants of uh, Hurricane Helene, I think it was. And there's another hurricane down there too. But it's just been raining for the last day and a half. But what I wanted to talk about was something that people really don't think of very often. Uh, and I see it in my own business. And that's, you know, showing houses in the rain. No one likes to be out showing houses in the rain, right? I mean, like, it's it's wet, it's miserable. It's the same, in, in my opinion, it's the same reason why people don't go buy houses in the middle of February around St. Louis. It's cold. It's Nobody wants to be outside. No one wants to be going from house to house. But, I mean, in, at least in St. Louis in February, that's where you get the deals because nobody else is out. Um, but when it rains, something that people in the Midwest, at least in St. Louis, deal with is basements. We all have basements. And you never really know if a house has a solid basement until it rains. And I can't tell you the hundreds of thousands of people that buy houses every year that just the buy house, the, the disclosure says uh, it, it, the basement leaks, but only when it rains. And then they're shocked when there's like two inches of water in the basement when they buy their property. On flips, fix and flips, oh my God. What a terrible idea to go buy a house where there's no disclosure and it's all fixed up because the first time you get a solid rain, I mean, you're just going to get just, it's just going to rain everywhere. It's going to be miserable. And so I actually like going to show houses when it's raining. I know that my buyers are committed because again, it's miserable. Like who wants to be out in the rain all day? Um, and then we get that secret uh, opportunity to just look and see in the, does the basement smell? Is it moldy? Is it is it like really, really humid down there? You know, it's one thing to disclose, you know, the, it, the basement leaks, but only when it rains. It's quite another, like, what does that tell you? Like when, I mean, it doesn't make any sense really. At the end of the day, like it, it, when it doesn't rain, it doesn't leak. Well, when does that, I mean, it leaks when it's not raining is a, a very weird problem that you should probably get looked at before you try to sell the house. And so, yeah, just, just, think about that one thing when you guys start looking for houses you know if it does happen to rain and you do happen to get, get lucky enough to get a showing go go see what's going on in the basement you know in south city you get these those uh those huge rock foundations and they weep you know and then like in places like oakville you'll see like just i don't know what happened but they'll just be and baldwin too for some reason it might be the soil but you'll just see like horizontal cracks. You'll see uh, you'll see the drapes over the walls to try and keep the water just confined to back there. Uh, one of the things I always mention to my buyers is why do you need to live in that house? There's thousands of other houses that don't have that problem. Do you really want to be in a house that does? I mean, it doesn't. To me, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but I do what my buyers want. But anyway, just something to think about if you're ever out. You know thinking, oh, I don't want to go see houses today. It's raining. It's cold. It's wet. No, you should probably go. You should probably go. And plus, the, the fact that you're out there uh, as a buyer, I mean, the chances that you'll be able to write an offer and the seller's going to be able to take it uh, under consideration is pretty high because no one else probably went through the house that day. So just just one little tip for you. I hope, I hope it helps you out at some point down the road. Um, Thank you for watching. I'll, I'll check in with you tomorrow.